Hey guys, hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick. If you're new to my channel, my purpose is very simple. That is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, more abundant lives. And I do that by making videos that take health topics that are very complicated and make it as simple as possible so that everybody can really understand it and also to make it fun, to have a little bit of fun with it. So anyway, if you saw my last video, that was on the truth about cholesterol. And if you didn't see that one yet, I highly recommend you take a look at that. We went over a lot of information that took this vilified nutrient, the number one vilified nutrient in the world, and we broke it down and made it a lot simpler to understand and really showed you how important it is. Well, on that video, I also said that my next video I was going to be talking about, is it dangerous to have too low a cholesterol? So that's what today's video is all about. Is it dangerous to actually have low cholesterol? And you're going to find out that it actually is. So when we talk about cholesterol, Last week we mentioned LDL, HDL, and these weren't actually cholesterols at all, but yet they were carrier molecules that carried cholesterol through your body. See, cholesterol is a fat, and so the problem is it doesn't do very well in watery substances like blood. So it's got to bind to a protein, and it makes a lipoprotein. So you have HDL, high-density lipoprotein, and LDL, low-density lipoprotein. But is it really bad to have low cholesterol? So we're going to talk about that today. So let's dive on in. So guys, the first thing I want to do is talk about the purpose of cholesterol. We kind of alluded to this last week on the last video, but I want to kind of review it today. Number one is that every single cell in your body has to have cholesterol. Your membranes around each cell is made of cholesterol. It's a precursor for hormones. You need it to make estrogen, testosterone. You need it to make cortisol. You need it to to have proper brain function. 60% of your brain is made of cholesterol and 25% of all the cholesterol in your body is actually in your brain. It's needed for proper nerve function, that covering around your nerves, just like the, the plastic or the rubber that's around wiring, that's a protective insulator. Well, the myelin sheath around your nerves is made of cholesterol. Not only that, it's necessary to help what we call a synapse. Synapses are where nerve fibers come together and it's that junction across the middle. It's necessary for proper synapse function. So for your body to do what it does on a daily basis, which requires nerves firing and nerves functioning, you absolutely have to have cholesterol. Not only that, it's needed for tissue repair. So whenever your body has an injury, it sends cholesterol to that area, especially in the arterial walls, so that way your body can heal and repair it. It's needed to make vitamin D. It's the vitamin D that you get when you're exposed to the sun is actually cholesterol in your skin, and that cholesterol takes the sunlight, creates vitamin D, and then converts it into its active form. So you need it to be able to get vitamin D, which is very, very uh, important when it comes to cancer prevention, You've got to get it from the sun, and when you get it from the sun, you need that cholesterol in your skin to be able to convert it. Not only that, you need it to manufacture and synthesize vitamins A, D, E, and K. So cholesterol is really, really important. So like I said, there is problems when you have too low cholesterol because that's all the rage. Everybody wants to lower their cholesterol. And guys, I've said this to my patients for years, we're lowering it to levels that are way too low. It used to be 300 was the normal total cholesterol. Now it's down under you know, 200 and it's, people want to keep it into the 100 range. It's really, really too low. But are there dangers with having cholesterol too low? So let's dive into that. Well, research was done in 1994 at the American Heart Association Task Force on cholesterol issues. It published a groundbreaking study or article on a link between cholesterol levels less than 160 uh, milligrams per deciliter and the increase in deaths due to trauma, some types of cancer, hemorrhagic stroke, respiratory, and infectious diseases. So lowering cholesterol actually can cause many, many health issues like cancer, infectious disease, stroke. So this is a serious issue. We can't keep lowering cholesterol and think there's not going to be a side effect because, as I mentioned earlier, it was so necessary in that whole list of different functions that I said your body needed it for. So in a study published in 2009 in a journal of psychiatric research, it found that men with very low cholesterol rates of 165 milligrams per deciliter and depression were at a very high risk for premature death from unnatural causes such as suicides, drug overdoses, accidents, and injuries. 
So there it is again, guys, another research article proving that when we lower cholesterol, it's actually too dangerous for the body. Well, it also causes depression and anxiety. So a study conducted in the late 1990s at Duke University Medical Center found that otherwise healthy women, so in other words, women that had really no other health issues, these women were considered healthy by all standards, that healthy women with cholesterol levels below 160 were more likely to show signs of depression and anxiety. Now, why is that? <clears throat> well, as I mentioned before, your brain is made of cholesterol, 60% of it. In fact, 25% of all the cholesterol in your body is in your brain. So here's what happens, guys. When we start to lower cholesterol in our bodies, we lower it in our brain. When we lower it in our brain, we actually create depression and anxiety. But here's basically what it happens when, uh, when drug companies get involved with this they create antidepressants that they'll then give you as a result of the drugs that they're, you're taking that lower your cholesterol. So let me repeat that. You take a medication that lowers cholesterol. That then triggers anxiety and depression. Well, guess what? They've got a drug for that too. They're going to give you that drug, that follow-up drug, that's going to take care of the side effects of the first drug. Not only that, another research article in the Netherlands published in 2000 showing that middle-aged men with low cholesterol are more likely than other men to have symptoms of severe depression. Once again, it comes from lowering cholesterol within the brain. When you lower cholesterol in the brain, it triggers depression and anxiety. Since then, most additional research links very low cholesterol levels to an increased risk of depression, suicide. Now, imagine that. You're telling your family to take less cholesterol, lower fats in your diets, then you wonder why your children are acting out. You wonder why they're having maybe abnormal psychotic behavior. Maybe they're thinking about suicide. Who would have thought just by changing your child's diet saying, hey, hey, get on a low fat diet. We shouldn't be taking so much fat. The dietary guidelines say we don't need so much fat in our diets. And next thing you know, your child is suicidal because of it. They also have anxiety, impulsivity, and aggression, all because you're lowering the fats too low. The brain doesn't then function the way it's supposed to. So all of our patients who come in that either come in with um, brainwave disorder problems, we use neurofeedback on that, or if they come in and we just start looking at their diets right away, and one of the things we recommend highly is the ketogenic diet. Start eating more fats, more quality fats. Watch some of my videos on that where I talk about the right kind of fats to eat. Adding butter into your diet. That's right, butter. We need arachidonic acid for our brain function. So, fantastic. Give your child MCT oil. Give your child coconut oil. Give your child olive oil. You know, include these in your diet and you'll be amazed at how well the brains function. Not only that, it's leading to Alzheimer's. So dementia and Alzheimer's, they're calling Alzheimer's now type 3 diabetes. Any of our patients that tell me they have a family member that is suffering from dementia, memory loss, or Alzheimer's, the first thing I tell them is start to eat healthy fats. Once again, butter, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. Add all these diet, if, dietary fats back into their diet. We didn't see this years ago when people had fats on a regular basis. Now that we've taken it all out because we were told it wasn't good for us, it's creating all kinds of health issues. Not only that, when you take these statin drugs, one of the big side effects that a statin drug does is it messes with your CoQ10 levels. Now, let's look at what CoQ10 does. CoQ10 is found in every single cell of the body, but it's found mainly in the heart, liver, and kidney cells. It's an antioxidant. It's used to fight free radical damage that occurs in the arteries and really all over the body. So there's a very, very powerful antioxidant. It generates your energy. So it's inside the cells. It works with the mitochondria. The mitochondria are what we call an organelle, which means it's a component of the inside of the cell. So just like inside of a cell, you have the nucleus. The mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cells. Your body needs coenzyme Q10 for proper function in a mitochondria to generate energy. So you absolutely need this. In fact, one of the heart's biggest energy sources comes from CoQ10. So this is critical, guys, and yet we're, 
we're destroying our CoQ10 levels whenever we take statin drugs. In fact, according to the University of Maryland Medical Center, UMMC, there is no doubt that statins are going to lower cholesterol. They know it happens. In fact, it could lower it upwards of 40%. This could potentially complicate other health issues and leave you vulnerable to the side effects from prescribed statins. And what we're seeing with this is heart disease. It's probably the most common thing, but you could also have heart failure, angina, high blood pressure, and cardiovascular disease. So guys, we take a statin drug thinking it's going to lower our cholesterol, which by the way, all a statin drug does is damages your liver because as you saw in the previous video, was that 75 to 80 percent of the cholesterol in your body doesn't come from diet, but it comes from your liver. So what a statin drug does in essence is it damages your liver so that way you lower your cholesterol levels. So once again, we see that lowering cholesterol in a body or having it too low which seems like the American standard right now, is actually very dangerous for our health. Guys, go watch my other video. Learn about the benefits of cholesterol, why it's so critically important. And you will absolutely improve the levels of your health. It's not the villain that everybody thinks it is. In fact, levels that are too low are actually very detrimental to your health. So guys, I hope you like this information. If you did, you know the routine. Very simple. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. In fact, if you're really benefiting from my videos, let me know. Let me know what your success stories are. I love seeing it, and thank you so much for the comments. I've been getting some really great comments, and actually they've been making me laugh, so some of them are really funny. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for supporting our channel, watching our videos. Please share them out to people. There's other people that you know that could really benefit from it, and you know what? The best thing is that we can help save, change, and transform someone else's lives, and you don't even have to risk your own. So guys, thank you so much. Have a blessed day. And once again, like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. God bless.